guys, so today I'm going to be doing another pet peeves video, and I did one maybe a month ago, and honestly, the list goes on, so I just decided I'd do a part two. So over time, I just kind of write down something that came up, and I like put it in my notes. This is, I don't know, there's probably like ten things on it, but yeah, I just thought I'd share them just to see if anyone else relates to me. Because I just want to see if anyone else has the same issues that I do. Um, yeah, so if you just want to hear what I have to complain about. Um, oh, I don't mean to be, like, negative when I make this video. Like, I'm just sharing pet peeves because they can be relatable for some people. And some people might want to, like, hear, like, oh, other people are annoyed by this, too. Let's get started. Atlas is just going to be sitting here while I film it, so... Okay, so my first pet peeve is people who put their blinker on at the last minute. Atlas is just looking at me like, mm. <laughs> that might be about him a little bit. This doesn't necessarily apply to people who are not using their blinker when they're turning on a road that's not busy. Like if there's no cars around you and you don't use your blinker, that doesn't really matter. But if you're turning off of a busy road and there's cars like pretty close behind you, I feel like it's a necessary thing to use your blinker because, I don't know, before you turn you have to slow down a little, and if it's a pretty fast speed that you're at behind a car who's about to turn, you have to brake too. I don't know, it just kind of helps to see a blinker because that's kind of an indication like, hey, I'm about to do this, you know? Oh, the next one is when I'm drinking water after I do my makeup and it leaves like a streak down my face because it will like run down my face and leave a streak of no makeup. This hasn't really happened that much, but when it does happen, it's the most irritating thing because I'll have like my makeup perfectly done everywhere and then there will just be a streak where the water went down because it washed away all the makeup there and it's just the most harsh line. It looks so stupid. The next one is MacBook space. This mostly happens to people that do YouTube, but I cannot get free space on my MacBook for the life of me. I literally delete all of my videos after they're uploaded. Anything that's on iMovie or Final Cut Pro, it gets deleted right after because I need the space. And I have as little pictures and videos on the iPhoto thing as possible. I don't know how to explain it. Like, I might bring it into the Apple store just to like ask someone like hey why is my macbook stupid because i've deleted literally everything off of my macbook that i don't need like if i go onto finder it'll say like what like it'll show all my files and i have maybe a couple screenshots for thumbnails but oh my god like i cannot get free space for the life of me and i don't know why it's the most irritating thing in the world Okay, the next one is Google Maps when it says turn or go south on 42nd Avenue. Like, south? I don't have a compass with me. Like, I don't know which way south is. Like, can you say left or right? Like, that might be a little easier for me. I don't know. Google Maps kind of sucks, honestly, but whatever. Okay, and then the next one is over enthusiastic people on YouTube, like you can tell they're just trying to be super like enthusiastic when they don't need to be. Personally, I like to keep it real. Like I'm not saying people that are over enthusiastic are fake. I'm just saying for me, maybe people aren't as attracted to our channel because we don't like saturate our intros and are like, hey guys, like welcome back to my channel. Like, I don't know, like we're just not super, I keep my Okay, side note, I am editing the video now, and I just want to say, before people start commenting, saying, it's my pet peeve when people say the word like as every other word, I just realized I'm saying like so often in the video, and I'm totally unaware of it when I'm talking. I can't help it. I'm trying to work on it. I'm sorry. It's the most annoying thing. I'm annoyed by it, too, so I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, back to the video. The voice, how it actually is, like, I'm pretty monotone, but I'm not gonna, like, raise the pitch a little and, like, act super, like, meh, like, just to, like, please people. I don't know. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, I can't really, like, name someone off the top of my head right now. But if I were to, like, go through my subscription box, like, I could find one person and they just totally seem like they're 
overdoing it just so they can like get views I have no like I don't know if anyone else understands what I'm saying but yeah the next one is when people comment on videos and they think what they're saying matters I don't know like when they're making a judgment that's not very nice and they think that matters and when I wrote this down in my notes, like, I had an example in my head, but I forgot what it was because I probably wrote that down a few weeks ago. But I don't know, there's just some people that'll comment some nasty things, and it's like, why do you think your opinion matters? Like, I don't think they realize, like, nobody cares what they are saying. I don't understand why they feel like they have to go out of their way to say something rude when it's not necessary. So I guess my pet peeve for that one would be hating people being haters. <laughs> oh, this next one is so annoying. It's when I'm talking to Sarah and she replies with, okay. Like, I don't know why she does this thing. I'll be going off on like a long thing that usually you'd reply to with something more than an okay, but she just replies with, okay, cause she just doesn't feel like replying or she just like stares at me like, and doesn't reply it's like talking to a wall sometimes I just don't get it she's gonna watch this like and probably like reply with okay like honestly I'll probably be like oh my god like today I filmed a video and then the camera stopped working and I didn't know how to fix it and she'd be like okay that's an example of something she would do the next one is when people highlight too much to the point where they look sweaty if that makes sense like not I mean you do you like you wear as much highlighter as you want personally my preference is to not look like I'm oily no it depends on the highlighter you get like some don't do that but then there's some highlighters that are just so like oily looking in pictures if that makes sense I mean some highlighters look really good I wear highlighters sometimes I'm not saying this is for everyone I'm sure my face has looked sweaty before from highlighter but Sometimes, like, it's my pet peeve when I put on highlighter and it looks like I was just sweating a bunch. Because, like, when I first started doing makeup, I feel like highlighter was not a thing and it was more of a goal to make your face look like you weren't oily. But I feel like sometimes people wear highlighter to the point where it looks like they were just running a marathon or something, you know? Does that make sense? Like, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Okay, and this one's the last one. And it's when people assume my tone over text. And I feel like this kind of happens often for me because I don't really know why, but some people will just like read a text and be like, wait, what's wrong? Like, I don't know, or just think I'm being like, that was just staring at me right now, I don't know why. Um, they'll just think like I meant it, meant something in like a mean way. But I, I'm just like, I'm just saying something, like, and they're assuming I'm, like, being angry in the tone of my voice. But, like, you can't tell what people are saying over text. Like, you can't assume someone's tone in their voice unless you're actually talking to them in person or, like, over the phone or over FaceTime. I don't know. But, like, the other day someone commented on a video and Sarah replied to them and she was totally, like, just replying to them and then someone else was like you guys are so rude like with the way you reply or whatever but Sarah was just kind of like I just replied to her like you can't <laughs> like you can't see the tone or hear the tone in my voice like I don't know it was weird I don't know it just bugs me when people think they know the tone in my voice over text when they don't know at all like, unless I use an emoji to kind of like show my emotion like you don't know my emotion I guess that's kind of it. I can probably think of more, honestly, but I feel like in the past two pet peeve videos, I've kind of covered most of my um, pet peeves and the things that get on my nerves. So yeah, if you guys can relate to any of these, comment down below, subscribe for more videos, follow our social media, all that stuff is down below. Yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.